welcome to my video. Um, today I am going to show you how to um, put on a very simple yet really put together um, makeup face using only five products. These products you probably already have, so don't worry. Um, you of course will need a foundation. You will need some sort of lip balm of your choice or lipstick. I don't like lipstick, so we're gonna use a lip balm. Um, a mascara of your choice. I really enjoy a lash primer. Just give me some extra, some extra. And bronzer. Those are the things that we are gonna use today to create a busy woman on the go or just stay at home and look awesome when your husband gets back kind of look so of course I've already um, prepped my face uh, using my hydrating primer and I've already done my eyebrows so maybe you have eyebrows and you don't need to do them maybe you don't want to do them but that's also personal preference so you're gonna start with your foundation I like a medium to, to full coverage foundation but I'm also not mad about a light to medium foundation. And I'm gonna use a Kabuki brush. We'll see if I have enough product in my bottle here. We have some really exciting foundations that um, I'm going to be testing on this page in the very near future, so I've let my liquid foundation run out. So a Kabuki brush um, isn't necessary. It is also personal preference. I really, really enjoy using a beauty sponge or a beauty blender, um, whatever you call them. I should maybe say five products because anytime you're using a liquid foundation again this isn't necessary but it absolutely is helpful to the process and it's just gonna help your makeup stay in place and last longer and just look better and wear better um, you should use a translucent a translucent powder to set your liquid base that way it stays where it's supposed to be it lasts all day long and it just looks, I don't know, it looks mattified. It just looks really nice. So get your foundation all blended in. Get close up to your eyebrows here. As you can see, that took away a lot of my redness, my hyperpigmentation. Um, it blurred out my lines and my pores that I'm really self-conscious about. Easy peasy. Okay, you're going to let this sit for just a minute before you go in with any powders of any kind. Um, anytime you're using a liquid or a cream based foundation it's gonna move around if you don't let it chill for a second on your face okay um, my hair is looking a little crazy right now it's really fuzzy and if you want to know what's happening with my hair I also have made another video um, explaining that so go check that out as well anyways it's fun it's fun fun hair video you'll enjoy it okay so we're gonna let that set for a minute and we're gonna focus on our eyes and you're gonna use a bronzer. You could probably use a blush too. If you don't have a bronzer, which you should, um, you could probably use a nice subtle blush. Okay, we're gonna use this for our eyes. We're just gonna add a little bit of color back into our eyes with that bronzer. I know that today is the first day of fall, but you can still pull this look off. You can pull this look off year round. It's very much um, a summery look but it's also a very versatile through the seasons, goes with any outfit, look. Something that everyone needs. Simple, easy, versatile. Simple and easy, I guess, would be the same thing. And everybody has these products in their makeup stash. Okay, so we've got some bronzer going on on our lids. You don't have to be particular about it. Place it wherever you feel most comfortable. Okay, we've got that. Let's do our eyes real quick. I'm going to use a lash liner. Um, I just recently started using a lash liner. I didn't ever even know that there was such a thing until very, very recently. And didn't even, I guess, feel like, why would I need a lash liner? My mascara is great. 
Um, it's amazing. It just makes your great mascara that you really, really love even better, okay? So it's gonna go on white. It's gonna separate your lashes and then it gives your mascara a little bit more um, stuff to grab onto other than just your bare lashes. It just makes them thicker and longer and it's a really an inexpensive way to get your lashes to be noticeable and pretty. My lashes are really, really, really straight. So after my lashes are dry, after I do this, this um, my entire makeup routine, uh, then I'll go back in and just curl them very, very gently with uh, an eyelash curler, okay? And you go in with your favorite mascara Mine is the Epic 40 Fiber Mascara from Unique. It adds ridiculous amounts of length to your lashes. If you don't have a primer, um, but have an Epic Mascara, you're okay. Urban Decay makes some really good mascaras too, but these just are amazing. If you haven't tried one, definitely check it out. I'll put the link below in the description so you can see for yourself. Okay? You should stop messing with them because the more I mess with them, they kind of get um, squished together and I don't like that. And I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. Plus, I got it up on my eyelid and when that happens, you just want to let it dry and I'll show you how to remove that in just a second. I can almost never put on my mascara without getting it all over my face. True story. Okay, now we'll go do our other eye. Can you see this? Can you see how full and pretty they are? Lash primer, of course if you don't have a lash primer, you don't need one, it's not necessary, it's a personal preference. I do not wait for my primer to dry. If you have a different primer than this Moodstruck Lash Primer that I have, make sure you read it, because some of them I'm sure you should let dry. Um, or even check out the reviews, because when I first got this, it's okay to let this dry also. If you put this lash primer on and your baby starts crying or your dog needs out or your dad calls or whatever, um, and it dries before you're able to put your mascara on, it's totally okay. I think it just adds a little bit of extra oomph to it if you put it on when it's wet. But definitely check out any lash primers that aren't this one and read what the recommendations are or watch some videos about that specific primer and see what it says for best results. Okay, and we'll do our bottom lashes here, and our foundation has had enough time to sit. I really like a liquid foundation. This one happens to be a liquid but dry like as a powder. So if you didn't have a setting product for this, um, if you let it set for a good 10 minutes or so before you go in with your everything else, it should be very where it's supposed to be and be okay and not smudge around. But because I prefer to mattify my face a little bit. I don't like it to look so dewy. Um, I like to use just a little bit of powder. I just take a big old brush and some translucent setting powder, tap it off. There's like very, very little on here because I don't want it to take away the color. I just want to set it in place and take away any wet look on my face especially on your forehead if you have lines like I do that you um, don't want any creasing to happen in as the day goes on, definitely use a setting product. Setting spray also is, is fine. Okay, just like this. Now we're gonna use our bronzer again. We're letting our eyelashes dry. Don't look at them right now. We're gonna fix them in just a minute. We're gonna use our bronzer again. I'm gonna use, on, on this bronzer in particular, we have like a matte side and a shimmery side. 
I'm gonna use that matte side and like the, the angled end of my brush and just kind of place it here to give my face a little bit of contour. And we're gonna do the same thing up on our forehead and our chin. Where you contour is up to you. Um, there's different spots for different contouring methods. Um, different products, different face shape it, sh shapes, shapes, different face shapes. Um, just kind of play around with it and see what works best for you. This is just where I like to put it. And then I just use a little bit down my nose because my nose isn't really like big. I just think it looks nice. And then a little under my lip. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to use this big brush and we're going to blend that out. So you don't have any harsh lines. You want it to look as natural as possible. Like still there, but very natural. Okay, now this brush again, I'm gonna go in more on the shimmery side of this bronzer, tap it out, and just add some color into my cheeks. Maybe onto my forehead. Get out on your ears. Okay, so we've used the foundation, the bronzer, the lash primer, the mascara, and now we're gonna use the lip balm. Mine um, is just a, a no color, it's, it's called Vanilla Milkshake, it's white. It's totally up to you what you use. Just like that. Okay, now let's go maintain our lashes that we just got done doing. It's nice to have a spoolie so you can, you can separate any lashes that are trying to stick together. There's not many, and they're not, like clumped they're just like hanging on to each other because it is a fiber mascara those fibers kind of promote grabbing and so you just kind of want to have a little bit more control over what's happening so right here I got some on my eyelid we're just gonna scrape it away and it's important to let it dry first before you go in and do that okay now if you have an eyelash curler, this is where this part comes in. My eyelashes are super, super, super straight. And I curl them up before I start. And then they fall down. Just like if you curl your hair and it rains and you go outside or it's really humid, your curls fall. Same thing with your eyelashes. It's hair, you're curling them, add moisture to them, and they're going to fall down. Okay? My eyelash curler is garbage. I very much need a new one. So I'm just gonna lightly curl them up, or try to anyways. Give them a little bit of a lift. And once that product is on my eyelashes, that helps them stay up through the day. But my eyelash curler is like, um, the, there's a big split down through the pad, so I need a new one. So it just kind of like crimps them. And just kind of brush them out how you want them to be. These over here are a little wonky, like some grow this way, some grow this way, some grow straight out. So it's always a tricky process to get over here to fan out like I want them to. And just like that, you are done. All right, let's recap what we did here. I primed my face before I came on camera. I used a liquid foundation. I used a lash primer and a mascara. I used a bronzer and a lip balm. All of these things to create just nice put together. Doesn't look like you just rolled out of bed, but it's not like glam night out on the town kind of look. Very simple, very easy, very cost effective for anybody on a budget and you're good to go. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and smash the little bell as they say and make sure you're getting all notifications for new videos. If you have any requests for certain makeup tutorials, eyebrows, eyes, contour, 
whatever your little heart desires, put it in the comments and I'll be more than happy to make a tutorial and upload it for you. And until next time, see ya later.